Funding for the Iowa Girls High School Basketball Championships is provided by... The path to greatness starts early. The Iowa Farm Bureau believes in Iowa's youth and their pursuit of greatness. That's why we're proud to be the title sponsor of the Iowa Girls High School Athletic Union. Each student's effort is important, and when one rises, we all rise to a better Iowa. Whether you live in rural Iowa or in the big city, the Iowa Network Services family of companies and your local provider are working together to keep you connected by offering technology and business solutions like internet, data networking, and other business services. The INS family of companies keeping communities connected today and tomorrow. Fairway, along with Mondelez Nabisco, Wells Blue Bunny, and Frito-Lay, is a proud sponsor of the 2014 Iowa Girls High School Sports Championships. We congratulate all the schools and student athletes participating in this year's Girls High School State Basketball Championships. Fairway, proud to care for the places we work and live. By Musco Lighting, the sports lighting specialist, providing lighting systems for you, your project, and your community. Iowa banks know you want honest advice about how to best reach your financial goals, whether it's financing and education, buying a new home, growing a business, or funding retirement. Iowa banks, Iowa values. MyIowaBank.com. Mid-American Energy, diversifying the ways we generate electricity by investing in wind generation capacity in Iowa. Information is available at MidAmericanEnergy.com. Mid-American Energy, obsessively, relentlessly at your service. Choosing a career is one of the most important decisions you'll ever make. At DMAC's new University College Transfer Program, there's a world of programs for you to explore. Welcome to downtown Des Moines, where you'll find families taking in the sights and sounds of Iowa high school sports history at the Iowa Hall of Pride, a showcase of every famous player, coach, and game from the storied history of Iowa sports. Across the street here at Wells Fargo Arena is our site for an exciting triple header of Iowa high school hoops and perhaps a game that will one day be showcased at the Iowa Hall of Pride. Welcome to our second day of live Iowa High School basketball tournament coverage here on statewide Iowa Public Television. Hello, I'm Paul Yeager, and throughout the night, IPTV Sports will bring you the games, highlights, analysis, and features from right here on our on-site sports desk. But first, we'll jump right into tonight's matchups in the 3A, 4A, and 5A championships and show you how those teams made their way out of the semis. First in 3A, it's the Crestwood Cadets and the Unity Christian Knights under the coaching of Jay Skydeman. They're making their fourth trip to state, but early on, Crestwood would take control of this ball game because of Savannah Lenz. She would kick from the right side. Keel would get the uh, inside give and go there. The sophomore would have a huge game for the Knights. Again, they go Keel, turnaround shot, off the glass is good. Keel would finish the game with 20 points with plays like that. In the third quarter, it would be Madison Sickles, the coach's daughter, drives kicks for Lenz. Lenz would finish with 13, keeping the cadets in this ball game. But Cassidy DeYoung came to play. The junior hits the J. Now from the left side, same play. Basket good. She's the team's leading scorer. She had 16 points. The Knights go on a 9-0 run late in this ballgame to win a chance or a spot in the championship. And they would play a team, could be a short distance away and one they know very well, MOC Floyd Valley in Minneapolis. The Bullets would have six players with mothers or grandmothers that played at State in the six-on-six -six game. So they have some history on their side. And early on, it's Andrea Larson and it's Darby Massner. But there it's Alexis Conaway. Here's Massner. Or that's Rachel Holstein making the drive. In the second quarter, despite a bloody nose, it wouldn't slow Alexis Conaway down. Nice move to the hole. She'd get fouled and connect. And then she'd do it on defense with the steal. Up ahead, the lefty is good, and she's fouled. 
Conaway with 28 points in the first half alone. In the second half, Heidi, Heidi Hilliard would kick to Rachel Holstein. But it was going to be just too much Conaway on moves like that. She's headed to Iowa State to play volleyball, not basketball, but she did, did set a five-player tournament record for points in a game with 46, breaking a record set in 1994 by Janelle Grimm and 44 points. Big game, Laura Leonard, for Alexis Conaway. As goes Conaway, how do you try to contain her if you're Unity Christian? I think that's a great question, and I think that's what a lot of coaches are asking. How do you contain her? I think there's multiple ways that you can do that. I think you can try to attack her and try to get her into foul trouble, get her on the bench. I think you can try to double team and triple team her if you can do that. But you also then, if you do that, have to contain her teammates and not allow those teammates to have career nights as well. And Conaway, uh, impressive down low. Coach Skydeman likes to keep his team. They preach under 10 per quarter. If you just let if you just let Conaway have 10 points each quarter, it might they might be in this ball game. Yeah, that's exactly what they want to do. They want to muddy it up defensively if they can. Keep it in the 40s and 50s. Slow it down a bit and see if they can win the ball game that way. Another strategy could be take the ball at her inside, maybe get into foul trouble. If you can do that, and I, I think that if you can set yourself up, maybe disguise some things, get some screen set, and then really attack, you might be able to go right at her. But she's so athletic. She blocks a lot of shots, so you have to be careful in that regard as well. Schools that are 1.4 miles apart. The Battle for Orange City was our 3A game, but let's get now to 4A. That's the second game tonight of our triple header. The semifinal pitted perfect. Harlan top ranked in 4A against Carlisle, the underdog story of the year and of the tournament. Last year they were 1-22, and, and here they are a game away from state on plays like that by Mary Grace Watchell. Great move inside the paint. Jordan Mosier would kick it to Taylor Wagner from the top of the key. That was a nice shot in the second quarter. Agatha Beyer to Peyton Keeney for two more. Great assist by Beyer. Harlan again knows how to pass the ball. Taylor Frederick, the eight-foot jumper, is good. In the third quarter, Hannah Havoc here. Gets the inbounds pass from Wagner, back to Wagner. Three ball, corner pocket's good. 14 points for Wagner. Ryan White in his first season has done a tremendous job at Carlisle. He was at Red Oak last year, but it was gonna be too much Harlan down the end. Taylor Frederick, one of her, two of her 10 points, and they are on to the championship game. Carlisle finishes the year at 20 and seven. Harlan lives to play another night. And who would they match up against? Well, it would be the winner of Western Dubuque and Ballard. This was the nightcap on Wednesday, or on, on Thursday. This was a good one as well. Low scoring game though between these two. Bobcats early on, good hustle by Molly Lembiziter. She gets it to Megan Moss. They break the pressure now. And again, top of the key, Rose Simon Wrestler. The pass from Morgan Pitts. Good to offensive ball handling there. And then inside goes Harlan. Now back outside to Armstrong for three. That's a nice looking shot. That's Meredith Ocean who hit it. She, uh, Meredith Ocean to Gabby Dowd. She would finish with 11. That's Morgan Moss, 12 boards, nine points for the sophomore. Simon Wrestler would have another point there and one and shoot the free throw. Rose Simon Wrestler, look at this move to the hole. Splits the defenders again and puts it up. She would finish with 15. She's the team's leading scorer. Good moves inside the paint. The Bobcats are headed to the title game with a 30 to 23 win in that one. And Laura, in 4A, it's about redemption. Harlan was so close last year, losing in the last seconds but it's about pressure if you're Western Dubuque. Yeah, you definitely, if you're Western Dubuque, have to take care of the basketball. Turnovers have been a problem for them in this tournament, but they're in this title game in spite of it. They had 26 turnovers in the first game. They had 17 in the second game. You can't have that in a championship game, and you have to believe that Harlan's gonna turn up the heat a little bit. And you like matchups. Jess Shaben is a big force. She was not a big force in that last game she was taken out. Do you take that blueprint if you're looking at matchups if you're uh, Western Dubuque? Yeah. I think if you can go inside and maybe get some mismatches or go right at Shaven and try to get her out of the ball game, but they also have a player in Taylor Frederick that is also a big presence on the inside as well. You're right, they have to get Shaven going. She only had eight points in that semifinal game. Coach Zach Claussen is in his second title game in his second year. Any nerves from him, you think? <laughs> you know, I don't think so. I think probably the biggest thing for them is to 
look at it that they were here a year ago and, and now have another opportunity. All right, that's Class 4A. That's coming up at 6 o'clock. But at 8 o'clock is our final game of our coverage. And that is uh, a game that looks a little familiar. We could be seeing a rematch. Southeast Pope, they're your defending state champ. They face up against Waterloo West, who brought in three Division I players, including Blair Thomas. Early inside, it's Thomas. Nice fadeaway shot. She had some great inside post moves. She said, where'd she learn those? She says, Dr. Uh, Tony Pappas taught us those. Uh, Jessica Cole would keep Southeast Polk. And then Haley Puck the three. She's headed to Bowling Green. She would finish with 15. Thomas went quiet early on after this basket in the third quarter. Thomas takes it to the hole. She's headed to Iowa State. She had 18. But with coach Tracy Daly get back to her second title game in two years. It would need the hot shooting by Jessica Cole. She'd have 16. Three of them coming by four right there. That's Abby Penquite. She was the super sophomore. Her and her sister Annie were here last year. They get a chance to play again for a state title. And they could be facing a team they're very familiar with, the Dowling Catholic Maroons. They face off against a player that many people know, and that's Haley Lorenzen. She does the gator chop coming out. She's headed to the University of Florida. But it wasn't Haley Lorenzen that was the story for the Little Hawks. It was number 30, Courtney Jones. Becca Hittner, the super sophomore for Dowling Catholic and Bob and Sharon Hansen. She was big, so was Jones. Jones, another three. 13-2 was the biggest lead City High in this ballgame. Early on, they led, but Becca Hintner would keep the Maroons in this ballgame. Kiara Washburn for three. West says, we're not going anywhere yet, but in the end, in that fourth quarter, it was huge. It got started here. Hayden Butler hits the three to give the Maroons for the first time the lead of the ballgame at 5.20 in the fourth quarter, and then it's Audrey Faber to Butler, and Becca Hintner hits the bucket, and we will have a rematch in Class 5A. These two teams know each other very, very well, but it's that super sophomore for uh, Downing Catholic and Becca Hittner. You know what? I don't know if she realizes how good she can be because she is very good, and she's had a really nice state tournament. She had uh, 24 points in the first game, 19 in the second, and she's gotten to the free throw line a lot, and I think that's a big key to her game because she gets that dribble penetration, and she can get herself to the line, and that's where she scores a lot of her points. We didn't see any highlights of Lucy Sarcone because you usually don't put deep defensive highlights. She had the big assignment on Haley Lorenzen. She was outstanding down low. Oh, she really was. I mean, she's the glue that keeps this team together, and she doesn't score a lot. She's not in the scoring column very often, but she just does all the little dirty work that needs to be done. She does all the little things that help her team win, and she is a huge force and a big part of this team. Southeast Polk, a brutal schedule. Six losses, five of them to tournament teams, including Dowling Catholic. Does that get you ready for tonight? Great preparation for tonight. It gets you ready ready for this title game. Now you've seen Dowling once already this season, so you know kind of what's coming at you, but to play all those other teams, it just gets you tournament ready. Wells Fargo Arena is the perfect place for this game. Six miles from the Dowling Catholic campus, eight miles from the Southeast Polk campus. We'll see you uh, later tonight, Laura. Thank very you very good. much, and we'll be back right after this here on the pregame show on Iowa Public Television. IPTV's live, uninterrupted coverage of the Iowa Girls High School Athletic Union Iowa Farm Bureau Basketball Championships is available for sale on DVD. $30 includes tax and shipping. Call 800-779-7000 or visit us online at IPTV.org to order your copy today. A lot of great people make this tournament possible and a lot of great organizations as well. And one of them is the Iowa Bankers Association. Uh, they give a scholarship uh, before each and every game and we get to hear a little bit about each girl uh, who wins the scholarship and what it takes to uh, get that scholarship. Let's find out more with Tom Soren or John Sorensen, the CEO and president of the Iowa Bankers Association. We'll save the analysis for a moment, but let's talk banking. Why do the Iowa Bankers care about this tournament? Well, Paul, you know, we have a, a bank in almost every community that's represented here in the, uh, in the uh, state tournaments. And as a result, they work uh, very closely with their, their kids to create a brighter future. That, that's why we like this tie-in with the, the boys and girls basketball tournaments, because we can recognize students have so, who have shown exceptional achievement, not only on the court, but also in their communities and, and academically as well. And they are some super girls that are winning this. I don't know how you pick 
the scholarship winner because I'm sure it's not easy. It's very, it's very difficult. And, and you know, one of the best things that Iowa produces is uh, great young people. And, and we'd like to see them actually stay in Iowa and even consider financial services as a, as a potential occupation if they do, because we have plenty of opportunities in our state if you look at the uh, footprint of both banking and insurance in the state of Iowa. And we also appreciate your support here of our broadcast on Iowa Public Television. Why, are you, why would you partner with us? Well, because you guys do wonderful things and deliver programs like this, first of all, and, and many other uh, educational programs for Iowans, and, and we thank you for all you do. John Sorensen the Iowa Bankers, thank you so much. Thanks, Paul. All right, let's go down to the court and begin our festivities to, uh, before this uh, Class 3A game. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the All-Iowa Honor Dance Team under the direction of Kathy Inyard as they perform for your pregame entertainment. This is the 32nd consecutive appearance of this outstanding group. This evening, the All-Iowa Honor Dance Team will be honoring our United States military veterans, current military, and all military families. We also honor and remember our POW and MIA service men and women. Choreographed by Lois Turnage, the All-Iowa pregame performers will present a military salute for each branch of the military, the Marines, Army, Navy, Coast Guard, and the Air Force. As each of the colors are presented, we ask that all veterans and active military Please wave and be recognized for your service to our country. The United States Marines. All veterans and active military of the Marines, please wave and be recognized. The United States Army, all Army veterans and active military, please wave and be recognized. and active military, please wave and be recognized. The United States Coast Guard. All Coast Guard veterans and active military, please wave and be recognized. The United States Air Force, all Air Force veterans and active military, please wave and be recognized.
veterans in active military with a resounding ovation. Ladies and gentlemen, the Hope Gospel Quartet will now sing our national anthem. Please remain standing as we honor America, our military, and their families. and bright stars through the perilous fight for the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting The Hope Gospel Quartet and the All Iowa Honor Dance Team. Thank you very much, and that ends our pregame coverage. We have three basketball games for you coming up. Uh, uh, it's an exciting afternoon here at Wells Fargo Arena. We have some good basketball games. Thank you so very much for joining us, and that is going to do it for our pregame show. When we come back, it's the tip-off, the battle for Orange City between MOC Floyd Valley and Unity Christian, next on Iowa Public Television. Funding for the Iowa Girls High School Basketball Championships is provided by... The path to greatness starts early. The Iowa Farm Bureau believes in Iowa's youth and their pursuit of greatness. That's why we're proud to be the title sponsor of the Iowa Girls High School Athletic Union. Each student's effort is important, and when one rises, we all rise to a better Iowa. Whether you live in rural Iowa or in the big city, the Iowa Network Services family of companies and your local provider are working together to keep you connected. By offering technology and business solutions like internet, data networking, and other business services. The INS family of companies keeping communities connected today and tomorrow. Fairway, along with Mondelez Nabisco, Wells Blue Bunny, and Frito Lay, is a proud sponsor of the 2014 Iowa Girls High School Sports Championships. We congratulate all the schools and student athletes participating in this year's Girls High School State Basketball Championships. Fairway, proud to care for the places we work and live. By Musco Lighting, the sports lighting specialist, providing lighting systems for you, your project, and your community. Iowa banks know you want honest advice about how to best reach your financial goals, whether it's financing and education, buying a new home, growing a business, or funding retirement. Iowa banks, Iowa values. MyIowaBank.com. 
Mid-American Energy, diversifying the ways we generate electricity by investing in wind generation capacity in Iowa. Information is available at midamericanenergy.com. Mid-American Energy, obsessively, relentlessly at your service. Choosing a career is one of the most important decisions you'll ever make. At DMAX New University College Transfer Program, there's a world of programs for you to explore. 